in this video I'm going to talk about the fancy slider now to preview it you have to go to sliders and hit on fancy slider now indeed this slider might look fancy but it's uh, just uh, these are only images here and the special thing about this uh, slider is that the background color is uh, also changing when the slide is uh, is uh, uh, moving forward so that's about it um, I will try to edit this uh, element and let me just hide this header and so these are the options so you can specify a height for the slider you can specify whether you want to autoplay the carousel by default of course it's uh, enabled you can specify the timeout duration um, in uh, milliseconds and the navigation type now as you can see this uh, uh, live option right here says if you want to move controls inside now I'm, I just did this but as you can see now we have uh, arrows if I click once again and toggle this option, the live option isn't live. Sorry, I just remembered that um, I'll try something here. Oh, I'm padding. Let me just try this. I will uh, set the bullets. Now we have this, uh, these. Uh, bullets right here and if I as you can see this is the greatest options of the century this was basically disabled uh, uh, developed sorry for um, in case you don't want to have a uh, padding at the bottom uh, Actually, this is something we had to inherit uh, to uh, maintain it from uh, older versions. So, for the moment, uh, the option exists, and um, we hope to, uh, I don't know, simplify things uh, in the future. So, for the moment, this is the, uh, these are the controls and the greatest options of the century to move the control <laughs> inside so uh, then we have the bottom mask uh, override the as you know these uh, masks at the bottom if you don't have a, if you don't know what they mean just look into the background options in uh, elements uh, a video which explains uh, all about the, the these common uh, options that are usually present in every element or most of them and then we have the top and bottom padding if you want to I don't know say you want to increase the padding or simply remo remove it 
and then you can add as many slides as you want you can select the image you can uh, select the you can add the slide link if you want to click and have an action actionable uh, link and you can specify the slide color and this as you as you can see this is actually a PNG a transparent PNG and actually all the images are uh, uh, transparent as you can see this one too and in the slider it's red in the background right here and this is the background image and uh, that's about it basically this is a simple carousel that uh, slides the uh, images uh, vertically and it usually depends on uh, what you uh, design to have in this uh, in these uh, uh, slides I mean this is the biggest impact uh, mostly and in combination with the nice uh, color it could be a good uh, success so that's about it with the fancy slider um, thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye